Happy Sunday, everyone! Welcome to another episode of Moni Dasla. Um, today is it's April. It's the last session of Automation April because obviously it's still April. Um, and today I will tell you a bit about the automation that I have going on in my business. And I will show you how awesome that could be if you don't have to move a finger. So we're on episode 20. Imagine that I have already, like that's almost half a year. Well, it is because it's the end of August and we start May soonish. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you're feeling great. Um, just let me quickly introduce myself for those who don't know me yet. My name is Moni, I'm the RGPIC, which is the really geeky person in charge at MoniRoxyaSocks.com and I am the host of Moni Does Stuff. I will not get a better head move than this. So I offer web and graphic design and I do, as you can see, uh, these online tech tutorials also and also a bit of virtual assistance. So if you need something, you can easily hit me up. And today, is the fifth part of Automation April, where we talked about, as the name kindly explains, or of various, the name states already, um, we talked about automations. And that's why I will show you the automations that I love and that make it um, nice for me and easy to have a better overview of my business endeavors and what I generally do yes robo power okay so what i will show you today are like two cool things that i have going on because i don't want to waste all of your sunday about this and one is how to not um lose important emails that you get like sometimes i don't know how you feel about this but my inbox can be pretty full and it can i can lose stuff it happens, but I have systems set up that make it possible for me to um, not only have get my email in my inbox, but also um, create a Trello card out of this. So what I have set up here, uh, four different steps, but one that I use more regularly is the one where I create a Trello card from my things. So let me just go right into this sap right here. <laughs> um, so as you can see I've connected um, Gmail as a trigger so I connected my Gmail account and for that particular thing I want uh, an email with a specific search term um, to then trigger an action later on so what I did then was um, the search uh, added my search string which there is Sarah at getsomagic.com. Uh, and then after, so Zapier is in action and it triggers as soon as I get an email from Sarah in that case. Then I create a card on Trello. So I connected my Trello account there. That's pretty easy and I can create a card. As I mentioned, create a board or create a list is not necessary or smart in that particular thing. Um, so I create a card, I connected it to my Trello account, and then I have my template going on there. <laughs> I don't know why you feel you have heard that already. That's the first thing that I'm telling you about this, the first time. So there is, I, <laughs> I will not get over this one. Um, so there is my, um, <laughs> why did I even turn all my notifications down? Like no sound at all but whatever so i chose the board that it's on i chose the list that i want this um email to be on and then i can choose um the subject as i said is the name of the card the description is the content of the email so the body text i can add a label there to let re to be reminded of the fact that this is a new email then i can choose <laughs> then i can choose where the card is displayed on that list and since it's a new one, I always want it to be at the top. I can automatically add members to the card. <laughs> um, 
and I can also add a due date so go away so I can um, have like as you can see there are different fields that you can set up there but we don't want to do this here but you could even automatically add a due date then if there are file attachments at that card, you can add all the attachments to the Trello card too. There are different, um, there are limitations on how big these emails can be. If they're too big, then you will get an automated email that says, I couldn't add that attachment to um, the Trello card, a Trello board. Um, and you can also add like URL attachments if there is something else, or you can automatically add checklist names um, and checklist items. So for example, it's not something that would make sense just with a plain body text or something, but you can, if there are other triggers that you have that will make sense to then automatically create checklists within your trailer card too, then you could do that too here. And then you just continue. You can test the step, but since I don't have an email uh, from Sarah in my inbox right now, it won't do anything. And you see here it searches for that every 15 minutes since we are on the free plan. It doesn't like automatically sync there. So that's something that I do to keep track of my emails besides having a really nice person, person helping me with my inbox. Um, <clears throat> but that's one way to have an overview of all the important emails that my clients sent me. Another thing that I have set up, because not all of the tools um, that I use are directly synced with each other, I have a... Because when you want to talk to Yoshi, for example, I have a land bot set up, which is pretty epic for those of you who don't know. That was a weird wave, but it is already a we really weird stream, so why not? So, as I said, uh, I have the land bot set up and the land bot does not automatically send the email addresses to my MailChimp campaign. So what would be pretty stupid if I have sent people to uh, my land bot and then have them sit there. So what I would definitely want people to, what, what, what I want to happen is that people um, go, go through the land bot, enter their email address and then automatically get added to my MailChimp list um, to then... Um, get the ebook right away and don't have to wait for until I get around and, and add them manually to my MailChimp. That's annoying. That's why I have this SAP set up. So let's just quickly talk to Yoshi. So he's asking me how am I doing and say I am great. Thanks. So he's happy too. As you can see, he's dancing. And if he wants to see something really cool, then yes, of course, I want to see something really cool. <clears throat> so he's a trick dog and he can do bang. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading this right now. If you're interested, you can go through it by uh, yourself. Uh, and then you can... I want them to enter their email address and, and their name. And after they did that, they will automatically be added to my MailChimp um, list. And therefore, will automatically get uh, the ebook right away without me having to go back into Landbot and then add it manually to MailChimp. So that's one of the other automations that I do have set up. And then what I do love the most about everything is my awesome flow that I have going on with Dubsado. And that's why I'm going to um, take you on a ride with me. Because I have embedded... Yes, Yoshi does all the work while I just sit back and relax and do nothing except doing live streams that nobody can see what I'm talking about. So, okay, when you come to my website, um, you can actually book me right then and there, or right here and meow. So, as I mentioned, so you can go to contact and booking and then you can add information. So, I'm adding... Um, I'm filling out that form now because I want to show you. So now I'm the client, you know, I don't have to do... I'm sitting here on my chair most of the time talking to weird people. <laughs> and um, therefore, 
in the meantime, a client can go to my website and then he, the client can look at my portfolio that's, by the way, um, updated right now. So if you want to see what I'm doing, you can. Um, so let's go back to the contact and booking. So people go there, they see, oh, that woman is crazy enough to deal with my crap. Um, then, <coughs> excuse me, enter the email there. So I use the one that I'm not using most of the time because otherwise it doesn't make sense. And then people can fill that one out, but I want a proposal for the following services. I want uh, virtual assistant services. I don't have, I'm not feeling that out right now. I'm a Ravenclaw, obviously, and I have nothing else in my mind. So now it's getting real and I'm clicking on the, I should maybe change that name. So now, as you can see, the form is completed and I'm going to be in touch. Then I go to my, to the wrong Gmail account. Signing in here. I hope the email is correct. So, not now. I am going to my Gmail account now. And I am not getting an email. This is probably, did I misspell that thing? Probably takes a bit. So how are you doing on this Sunday? <laughs> is there spam going on? No. The workflow sometimes does not trigger automatically. Did anyone see what I wrote there? <laughs> this is the best live stream of all time. <laughs> Let me just check my Dubsado then. How are you doing people? I hope your Sunday is amazing. Let's just <laughs> give me a chance here. This was supposed to happen like on the 20th episode. I can fuck it up, right? That's totally manageable. So now I just have to quickly switch back to switch back to the other stream so that you have to see my general face because I'm not entirely sure um yeah let me check that real quick so I don't know if it's even an issue to be honest I'm just wondering yeah that's what it is it just takes some time because it's already there, already there. <laughs> so, um, it's just not as quick as I would have liked, but there is my proposal. So that's what people get into their inbox right away. Um, like not right away. So like two minutes later, <laughs> imagine elevator music right now. Okay. Anyway, so I tell them, yeah, um, blah, blah, blah. This is my offer. This is my proposal. Here you go. And then they can click on my proposal. And then they can choose it. Oh, I'm logged in now. I probably should log out of that. Uh, because I'm prepared. I have my credit card. Is it working now? I have to log out of the Psado, even though I'm not entirely logged out. So log out here. Yes. And now if I cl click on the proposal again, that's what my clients can see. So there is a proposal. I say, yay, you can buy me this and this and this. 
And what I did now for you guys is I created a demo package where I will actually pay me immediately. So as you can see, I asked them, you can do this here. Um, I fill out the address. Now you know where I'm living, but if you know me, then please don't come stalk me. Um, not that it's even possible, but yeah. So um, after people can decide, yeah, this is the package that I want. Then I select the demo package, then I go to submit it next. Because then what they will see is my contract. The contract will be automatically filled with my name, will be with the type of work that I'm doing. Um, that's my demo package right there. It has my date on it. It's also filled with my name. Now it does not make a lot of sense because yeah, well, the name and stuff, same name and things. And then um, I am the client now so I can sign the contract with a date obviously um, and sign and I click on agree and next and then I'm going to pay my own invoice with my card for that particular thing I will totally why am I always, I will totally not show you what my contact details are. I do love you, but nevertheless. Um, so I'm adding my contact details right here. And I'm going to pay myself the one euro. Yeah. So as you can see, the payment has been sent and all that just happened without the money on the couch moving a finger. Um, and what I do then is I go back to my client email address and as you can see now, I got an email that um, the contract was signed by me, by myself, like I'm still in the client view. So the contract is signed uh, and completed. That's what uh, you immediately get and you automatically get the receipt from how I paid with uh, my MasterCard. And now we have to wait for two more minutes <laughs> to then, because once uh, people have signed my contract, what I then automatically have set up is that they will also get my onboarding form right away without me moving a finger. I just totally hired myself. I'm for one euro. I'm going to make myself some food. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> and let's just see for maybe two more minutes. <laughs> if it's even. Um, happening. <laughs> I mean, it totally should. <laughs> but who knows, man. Today is not even Friday the 13th. What kind of food? It's That's a legally binding contract. It's a legally binding contract for a live stream. So since I'm already kind of, yeah, I already kind of did the live stream, it's not a problem at all. Unfortunately, Yoshi is not even here. So I can't, cannot entertain you with Yoshi. Ah, there you see there it is there is the onboarding form where I welcome people to um, my business so they will automatically get all the other information like how I run, run my business and what I do there with of course obviously I do have a lot of gifts happening in my things So here you are. That's what people then get from me. They get informed about my business hours, the, when I'm not available, how they can reach me, um, um, all, all the other stuff and how they can find their um, um, client portal and how they can share information with me and if they have any questions. And then that all happened. So what just happened is that someone booked me without... And they, they, they paid my invoice, they, they 
Red Mike got my contract. Um, they got my onboarding form. And all that's still with me sitting there, not moving a finger. So as you can see, of course, I did move a finger previously. So what you can see right here is that it actually does make sense to automate because it saves you time and it saves you energy. And it's just something that you would want to do and try and figure out a lot of like processes that you have going on that are a bit confusing for you or that you do over and over and over again. Is there a way to not do them manually check out safer there is a lot of stuff happening there so thanks again that was it for today the most hilarious live stream on earth probably uh but yeah <laughs> thanks for watching i promise episode 21 will be better than this so if you have any questions, uh, you can drop me a message. If you want to join my email list where you get weekly news about, <laughs> about what's happening at Monida stuff, then uh, check out either talk to Yoshi, you know how to do that now, moonyrocksyoursocks.com forward slash Yoshi. If you want to just simply sign up for my email list, then do it uh, on the page that's called moonyrocksyoursocks.com forward slash freebie. But either way, you can sign up for my email uh, list like that and you get weekly emails from yours truly that are probably just as ridiculous as this live stream. <laughs> so have a fabulous rest of your Sunday um, and see you next week if you're brave enough. <laughs> Bye.